Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video here unboxing the Galaxy J5 Pro, which is a, a low mid range or low mid tier Samsung phone uh, for 2017. I think it's a slightly better version of the J5 2017, uh, which looks a little bit boring to me. So uh, I did get the Pro version here, and uh, we're going to unbox it, have a look at the phone. Uh, so I think you can get these for about uh, 200 250 euros, so very uh, affordable phone, and we're just going to yeah, open here. So we have uh, two areas here which we can make strategic cut. And this one, I think you can get uh, the J7 Pro as well, which hopefully uh, I'll try and get in if it is available. Uh, this one is proving to be quite annoying. There we go. So let's uh, see here. <laughs> I'm struggling with this one. There we go. On your bugger. Right. So J5 Pro, full metal, 30 megapixel camera, and 30 megapixel front facing camera. Fingerprint sensor as well, unlike any other uh, J5, which is nice. Uh, so you can see we have the new design here on the back. It looks very premium, uh, which uh, you know I do appreciate it. Samsung's always making an effort, you know, when it comes to the design, which I do quite enjoy. Uh, you see, you get some uh, earphones here. Not the best looking ones, but still nice that they included them. Have a look at the charger here. So it's a Samsung charger, is it a fast charger? I can't see it to be honest. I think it's just a standard one. And it looks like we're getting the old type of uh, charging here, which is a bit disappointing. Some companies have started to migrate to Type C even for their budget models like Sony. And uh, nevertheless, let's get it unwrapped here and see what we're getting. So we'll just get rid of this. Uh, so you can see, very nice metal design here. Wow, it looks exactly like the OnePlus 5 here, I've got to say. Uh, they really stepped up their game in terms of the build. Uh, because previous J5 were very plasticky and old Samsung, but now you can see they really uh, made a good effort here. And no uh, front facing uh, screen protector, which is nice as well. So I don't have to peel anything off. Uh, so it's got a duo SIM also. I'm guessing it has like a dual SIM capability. And also a little speaker here on the side, similar to the A5 2017. Let's Where is the uh, specs here? Let's have a look what we're getting. 64-bit processor. I'm guessing it's probably Snapdragon 430 or something. 16 gigs memory. HD Super AMOLED. They don't uh, skimp when it comes to the display on the entry-level phones. Uh, so we're getting 5G support for the Wi-Fi, which is nice to see. Just put my password in. And it looks like you're getting the Samsung Experience here, UI. And you haven't gotten rid of the front-facing LED for your selfie narcissism, which is nice. And we just get through this. It seems that they're still sticking with no uh, front-lit buttons. Like these buttons here, which would have been nice to add. Hopefully, they've put the auto brightness on there because that was missing from the previous model. So, we'll just turn it up here. Do we have the yes? So, you can see they've added auto brightness. Wow, they're really splashing out here. Uh, it's a very nice looking UI, I've got to say, it looks exactly like the S8. 
and you can have your fun here all day. I think this is the funniest thing about the new Samsung uh, UI here. Uh, you can see we do have uh, Android, which uh, is I think uh, based upon 7. Point, uh, where is it? Where's Android 7.0? So not the latest, but still very good with the latest Samsung experience. I think I just saw this phone is actually from United Arab Emirates, so quite interesting. Maybe it's not officially sold here, but I'm guessing the standard J5 is. Uh, so looks uh, very nice here in terms of the UI. You can see open up stuff nice and snappy. Let's have a look at some of the camera modes as well to see you know how it is here you can see the zoom looks pretty fast and let's take a shot so I'm not expecting wonders here you can see it's a little bit blurry when you do zoom in but you should get the job done in the day and uh, let's have a look at the video full HD Standard affair here, front facing is actually full HD as well, which is nice. Do we get HDR, which was missing from the previous model? Uh, where do I go for that? I can't remember. Yes, it is here. So you can see we get HDR, but it's not auto HDR, which is a bit annoying. You get night mode as well, panorama, and some uh, pro mode here for a little bit more advanced photography. Uh, so pretty nice camera experience, you've got to say. Uh, do we get uh, multitasking and stuff like that? Let's see, so it's trying to open one thing. So you get your Samsung internet. We'll update that later. Yeah, you do get your split screen as well. So you can see. You can do several things at the same time. That's pretty weird. I didn't know you could split screen the camera. Uh, so that's nice that you've done that. Uh, there's also a fingerprint sensor as well. So we can just have a quick look at that. Uh, so let's go to finger. So it doesn't look like it's the fastest one. I think uh, Huawei is a bit ahead of Samsung when it comes to the entry level fingerprint sensors, uh, which are based upon uh, you know my experience with the A series. It tends to not work when it's like a little bit mucky, uh, whereas Huawei ones are just rock solid throughout the range, even on the budget phones. Uh, but I'm assuming this one should be decent. You can see it works nice and fast which is good uh, so yeah just a quick unboxing first look at this nice uh, like a low mid-range kind of phone do we get any themes here you can see oh we have some new J series wallpapers and that uh, is quite nice uh, so yeah, hope to do some comparisons with this one, so do stay tuned for that, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.